Well, first of all, we're leaning on an 80 year old tradition of, of providing just world class facilities. We like to say we set the stage for the great directors to entertain the world, and we've been doing it for, for 80 years. And Pinewood Atlanta Studios has been in the marketplace for four years. And we quickly built up what has become uh, the second largest purpose-built studio in North America. We've got a lot of assets, and we've been very fortunate to, to put those assets to work on some very cool and very big projects. And as you know, a person like me doesn't talk uh, too much about those projects that we do. But uh, very uh, wonderful clients uh, that really appreciate uh, the facilities and our operational expertise. Uh, making some, uh, some of the biggest movies uh, in the industry. Well, a few years ago, um, I founded a startup called Pulse Evolution, and we build hyper-realistic digital human beings. Uh, and uh, as the CEO of that company, I also produced uh, the appearance of the virtual Michael Jackson at the Billboard Music Awards. Uh, and, and, and Pulse, we built the virtual Michael Jackson and really put a lot of energy focused on creating hyper-real digital humans. And, and really the goal was not, you know, to, 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 to bring back uh, late celebrities to performances, but, but really to find a way to recognize the value of digital human agency. I mean, right now, Syria is about as useful as an umbrella in a hurricane, right? But, uh, you know, I think that's going to improve, and I think we're going to find real uses eventually for digital humans, especially at the intersection of artificial intelligence and immersive technologies. And that's really why we formed Pulse, was to try to explore that intersection and try to recognize how we could bring digital human agency to the world. We're all from the entertainment space, we all grew up in the movie business, so entertainment was a great way to sort of launch that technology. Uh, and also to imagine ways of of getting that technology into the marketplace so that we could eventually, you know, put digital humans in war-torn countries as teachers, right? If you just think about the many applications uh, that, that, that would be available if we had smart digital humans. I know it sounds creepy, I get where this, you know, but this is really, uh, we think, an exciting area. And, and so I stepped down as CEO, retreated to the board. Um, we have some exciting news coming at Pulse, but for me, uh, I found Pinewood Atlanta Studios to be a very cool place that could be home to a lot of these emerging uh, technology and content companies that are really going to be the future of content filmmaking, uh, not you know, all around the world. And we just think Pinewood's a great place to, to locate that opportunity. There's so much that's, I'm, you know, I'm sure everyone's talked about it, I'm sure, today, but so much changing so fast with the shift in kind of the power and the business models behind content making right now. Um, and as we watch those shifts happen, and we watch the new ways that value is being created, for example, by platforms who don't really need, you know, big theatrical releases to activate their franchise content, they have consumers that they've known for decades that they can bring content to. And their business model is very different than, for example, Disney's, right? And so how they're creating content, and more importantly, how they're creating value for their shareholders is causing a profound change in the business of our movie business. And the great winners are the content makers, too. Young filmmakers that have an opportunity that they never had before to hear the, have their voices heard. I had the good fortune of having students that uh, won the Academy Award for Best Picture this year. Um, Barry Jenkins, Adele uh, Romanski, uh, James Laxon, the cinematographer, uh, Joy, the editor, and Nate, um, basically a posse of six or seven of my students. And of course, what's the first project they announce after winning the Academy Award? It's an Amazon project. They get to tell their stories, you know, in a platform that really values storytelling right, and is, is creating new kinds of business opportunities uh, in the movie business that is really changing our world. So we recognize that at Pinewood Atlanta Studios and we're creating a new home so we can set a new stage for a variety of uh, storytellers in the future. Well, I would say right now, 
uh, independent filmmakers, small filmmakers, have a good reason to be suspicious about the value of a studio, right? Like Pinewood Atlanta Studios. We're, we're a big place. I mean, we have premium products for you know, Marvel content, for example. Well, um, that's changing. And we recognize that these emerging technologies and new kinds of workflows are gonna f gonna, going to, they're being invented right now by these tentpole projects, but a lot of the opportunities are finding their way down, all the way down to student films, by the way. So these technologies and these facilities that we're designing for the future are gonna be great homes for the $5 million film and the $500 million film.